Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus, and I bring you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering Lincoln Riley leaving Oklahoma for USC. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, let's get right into the action. Looking at Lincoln Riley, and Saturday night he dropped a bombshell when people were talking about him leaving Oklahoma for uh, uh, LSU. That was sending shockwaves, but then he switched up and said, "Uh-uh, I'm not going there. I'm going to USC." So in the middle of the night, they'd had that press release, and all of a sudden, Lincoln is now uh, the head coach of USC. I've got a bold prediction, folks. USC is back. USC is back. The USC as we used to know it with Reggie Bush and, and Matt Lyer and, and, and company, they're coming back. When, when Oklahoma and Texas made that choice to come to the SEC, that put Lincoln Riley in a tough situation. He's going to have pressure pack situation if he comes with that into this division of the SEC. You got to think in Oklahoma, he doesn't have a lot of real tough tests or real a lot of hot seat situations. He can basically play, lose one or two games a year and keep his contract. And the SEC is a whole different ball game. It's a whole different kind of pressure. So when you see him going out west, the Pac-12, it's different. It's different. USC has a lot of pressure with it and it comes with a lot of of, of tough expectations, but you also have a recruiting advantage. With Lincoln Riley as your recru recruiter, you're coming as a quarterback whisperer, a quarterback guru. How many quarterbacks have you helped win the Heisman? How many quarterbacks have you pushed towards the Heisman finalists? How many times have you gotten to the college football playoff? You have a decorated resume. And I could argue he's been a better coach in Oklahoma than Bob Stoops. Bob Stoops was the gold standard at Oklahoma. Lincoln Riley came behind him and has been a better coach than Bob Stoops was. Now, you may not have national championships to, to show for it, but the production on the field with the Heisman, the production on the field with the offense, the, the constant uh, uh, top-tier offenses, the constant NFL players being drafted high, it's, it's a consistency thing with, with Lincoln Riley. In a short period of time, he's won a lot of football games. He's got him to the college football playoffs several times, and he's consistently one in a division where, you know, Texas is, where you have your Baylors, where you have your Oklahoma States, when they've had good teams. So I think that USC is going to benefit a lot from his recruiting. USC is going to benefit and start to get that shine back on that, on that jersey. So when I'm looking overall at this, this signing was almost big as Alabama getting Saban. People don't realize this. This is a huge signing for USC. To be able to snatch away a team from a top tier program, top, snatch away a coach from a top tier program, and then bring them to your house, USC, you definitely won the weekend. And in the next three or four years, I expect Lincoln Riley to have a national championship caliber team with the way that college football is. Now, when he is in USC, it's more attractive to go to USC than it is to Oklahoma. California, Southern California, the sun, the beach. It's so many different things that you can offer kids these days. And with these uh, these little contracts where you can get millions of dollars before you even play college sports for your likeness. Yes, USC's back, folks. You might as well call it Reggie Bush Jr. You're going to see so many different athletes decommit from Oklahoma already. We've already seen four that are now coming towards USC. Now everybody starts to look, hmm, USC looks more attractive. So you, you're already going to get the athletes that want to go to USC naturally. But when you bring Lincoln Riley there, that's, that's, it's big, folks. It's big. It's big. All you Oklahoma fans, all you USC fans, get in the comment section. Tell me what you think. All you college football fans, get in the comment section. Tell me what you think about the move by Lincoln Riley. And as always, leave the, leave the comments in there. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to videos on YouTube and on Facebook. And as always, we look forward to seeing y'all on the next video. It's been fun, fam.